So this is how to create a adorable. So this is how to create an adorable brain boot with daisies instead of Adobe Illustrator. Have you ever heard the saying, April showers bring May flowers? Today we're going to create a rain boot full of daisies using basic shapes. As usual, we're going to use the warp effects and then the pathfinder panel. Pathfinder panel. It's going to be an easy process with detailed explanations, which can lead you to be able to create this cute little illustration. So start off, we have to do our setup. I'm going to click on new file. It's going to be 850 by 850. And pixels. I'm going to set this to RGB color and then the high is fine. So I always try to set it up by doing window, workspace, essentials classic, and then I can even reset the essentials classic. And to start off, we're going to look at how to create the rain boot. We're going to go in and get the rectangle tool, create a rectangle, and then the image below you can see the fill color that we're going to need. To get the rectangle in a regular shape, we're going to go to Effect, Warp, Bolt. I can click on my stroke and get rid of it. And then double click on my fill. It's going to be 128, 204, and then 221. And then again, it's Effect, Warp, Bulge. This is going to be vertical, 10% for the bend, and then negative 15% for the vertical. So while keeping that um, selected, we're going to go to Effect, Warp, and then Arc Upper. It's going to pop up probably telling you that you need to apply the new effect, and you can do that. So instead of the arc upper, it's going to be horizontal, 15%, and then 0 and 0. And then we're going to select it and do object, expand appearance. And then go back over here and do a rounded rectangle. That's 
that's going to create the boot look just like that so in order to continue forming our wonky shape that looks like a boot um, I'm going to go and grab a different color here make it kind of a reddish color and do a rectangle over here in front of our rounded rectangle and then go to window pathfinder and then Hold on my shift key so that I can select both. Let's see. And do minus front. So then I'm going to select both of these and go over here and cl uh, click on unite. And then going over here to my direct selection tool. I'm going to go over here and kind of adjust accordingly. Okay, and then to create the sole, I'm going to get two ovals for my ellipses tool. I notice here I didn't quite get it connected uh, with my Unite, so I can go over to my Delete Anchor Point tool and delete it. There we go. So it wants us to connect these once we have a shape we need.
I'm going to go and select all of it, unite it. And then I'm going to, let's see. Going to copy. And if I do control F, it's going to paste it on top of it. So that I can move it down just a little bit. Just a step. Okay, so first it wants us to make a copy by holding down the Alt and the Shift key. And then shifting it down just a little bit. Make it just a little bit bigger. And then go to the original and do the. Let's see. Control C, Control F. Now you should have three boots, two originals, one uh, that's a little bit bigger. Which apparently we move up. While keeping one of the original boot shapes selected, also select the bigger copy. And then do minus five. So Minus front, okay. Okay, let's just grab down here the part that's left and make it a shade darker. So that's going to be one zero zero six one ninety one and two zero six. There we go. So let's continue creating the rubber boot, make an overlapping rounded rectangle shown here. Create a copy of the boot in the front while keeping this copy selected. Select the rounded rectangle tool as well, hitting the intersection button of the boot. Uh, you'll end up with a partially light colored boot on top of the overlap. Um, okay. So what it's saying to do here. Go out just a little bit. To go over here and do 145, 214, and 226, and then get a rounded rectangle. There we go. I'm going to do like that ok 
Okay. So then we're going to click on the boot and do control C, control F. And then intersect. There we go. I'm just going to create that look to it. Um, definitely going to pull that in just a little bit. And then it's time to decorate our rubber boot. So, let's see. We're going to draw a small light pink circle on the front of the boot to make an even circle. Um, you can hold on your shift key. Make copies in different directions um, and place them all over the boot. So, let's see. I'm going to come over here to my color and change it to 255 to 35 and 235 and we're going to have this light pink color And I'm just pasting the different looks here. I'm not worried if the little dots are on the boot completely. Let's see why in just a second. So once I'm happy with the number that I have there for the circles, um, let's see, we're going to cut off the unnecessary parts, um, which are outside the boots boundaries. So we're going to, let's see. So essentially, we're going to be creating a cutter. Um, let's see. Okay, sorry, I'm reading the directions. Um, it wants us to select the boot, do Control C, Control F. Hold on our Shift key.
Um, I'm going to bring it all the way up. Let's see. Um, I can go in here and do the magic wand tool, which apparently is Y. Um, got them all selected. Holding on my shift key. Got my boot selected. And then I'm going to go to crop in the pathfinder. So if you've ever used the magic wand tool in Photoshop, this is kind of a similar um, issue there. Let's see, so now that it's cropped it, it's cropped it where all of the little pieces equal out. I can also go to object, path, cleanup, any straight points, I'm painting object, all that kind of stuff. There you go. And it cleans it up for us. So then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the background and the daisies.